Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another Dying Light video. So yesterday in my community section, I asked you guys a question about the cure for the Haran virus. And I asked you guys what happened to it and how did it spread outside the Haran? How did the virus go outside the Haran? So that was my question. And you guys came up with a lot of theories and I literally read all of them and they're still coming. So I won't be able to read all of them, like the one that came after this video, but I'm still gonna try later after I'm done with the video. Anyways, I picked few of the theories that made sense and could possibly be the right theory. So after I'm done with the community theory, I'm gonna tell you guys my own theory with some proof. So before we dive into the video, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is the world's first browser for gamers. I mean, just look at it. It not only looks amazing, but also packs a lot of features. These features are specifically made for gamers. One of the best features of Opera GX is GX Control. This feature lets you limit the amount of RAM or CPU your browser uses, and is so helpful for gamers to be able to run a game and browse internet with multiple tabs open all at once. Honestly, this comparison should tell you what I'm talking about. Another cool feature that I found myself using almost every time was the Discord and Twitch integration. It's so amazing to be able to use my Discord while browsing anything on the internet. And being honest, I don't go to Twitch that much, but I do have some friends there like John Scott who does live streams, so it's really cool. I can just simply access his live stream whenever I want with just one click. Plus the possibilities are limitless because there are so many other cool integrations too that will be useful for you all. By the way, you can also customize the browser and choose whatever theme you like, depending on your preference. Also, another thing to mention, there is an integration for Razer Chroma users, so definitely use that. By the way, the browser also has something called GX Corner, which is a place where you'll find everything, literally everything related to gaming. Upcoming release dates, free games, special deals on games, a lot of articles related to games, and you can even open different gaming stores with just one click. It's all there in front of you. So guys, what are you waiting for? Download this awesome gaming browser, Opera GX. The link will be in the description as well as in the pinned comment. So without a doubt, it's every gamer's dream browser and you know what the best part about this browser is? It's actually free. Literally, I'm not joking, this browser is free for you guys. So download this today from the link in the description. Also, comment down below with the hashtag Opera GX and tell me how much hyped are you for Dying Light 2 news. By the way, I'll respond to your comments if you seek an answer. So again, thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video, and let's go back to Dying Light topic. Now, the question is, what happened to the cure? And how did the infection spread this far? Like, who is responsible? So, let's see what the community thinks about this. So David's theory says, first, I think the main reason the infection spread beyond the quarantine is because of Kyle Crane the following Night Hunter ending, by the way, because he somehow got to the other side as well. That makes a lot of sense. And the second one, when Tolga and Fatina escaped the quarantine, they were already infected and could be the reason why the virus broke out. Well, that's a good theory and it's almost similar to my theory. I do believe Kyle Kern is responsible for the infection spread. Anyways, let's look at the other theory. So this theory is from Lone Wolf. Like, oh my God, that's so big. I mean, that's what she said. Uh... Uh, anyways, it looks like Lone Wolf sent me his theory after doing years of research. Like, that is so big! So now let's see what the theory says. The following is the continuation of Dying Light, not just some DLC. That is true. In both endings, we'll see there will be an action of how the virus breaks out of Haran. In the first, Crane decides to use failsafe protocol to wipe out the virus Haran and sacrifice thousands of lives because the virus will make people turn into zombies sooner or later than the death will spread. And as a result, he does it and thousands die, but the wall that initially held the virus have now been destroyed. Boy. <laughs> and there is nothing stopping it. All the kinds of infected zombies break out and spread the virus. In the second ending, Crane kills the mother and tries to get back to Haran to give the vial to Dr. Camden so that he may be closer on getting on the cure. But not only for that, the Ministry of Defense and GRE no longer providing antigen and many people are affected, but Crane takes the wrong route through the sewers which leads him to getting out of the infected zone and into the world. But the infection got him and turned him either into a volatile, actually volatile, or the Night Hunter and spread the virus. And the people back on Huron die at least the infected ones. And either ways, the virus isn't contained and the world gets fucked. About the cure, the virus has been mutating ever since the spreading of the 
ending of the following. No matter how fast they try to make the cure, the virus is constantly mutating and in ways even more the most advanced technology of the dying life universe, of course, will manage to create a cure in time before the next mutation comes out. Also, if Dying Light 2 gives us a heads up on how the virus got out of Haran, I would like to see some characters or at least civilians that were inside the infected zones back then and explain how the virus get out. Or in the best case, refer to Crane, the legendary Night Hunter. Gotta miss that guy. Now the people of the tower, which I mentioned before, many infected, don't have antigen and many die, so may survive and get out of Haran and maybe we'll see them in Dying Light 2. Camden may still be alive, maybe the Ministry of Defense collected him after the outbreak and started working with them so they may find a cure or at the very least manage to create a vaccine to make the remaining people immune to the virus. Bro, this theory, you just literally hit all the right notes there. I agree with every single thing you said. Also for people who didn't knew about this, well in Dying Light 2, there will be a reference of what happened to Kyle Crane and it's official. This is something the devs told me and they actually said it even in public. So whatever happened, whoever spread the virus and what happened to the cure, well, all of that will be answered in Dying Light 2. Honestly, I love this theory, Lone Wolf. Thank you for sharing this with us. You really took your time with this and this is just great. I love it. Now let's see some more theories. Raid says perhaps the virus mutated and Dr. Camden refused to tell Kajil? Who's that? Maybe he's trying to say Carl Crane. Refused to tell the Carl Crane about it because he wanted to develop a drug without delay. How Crane kills his mother... Crane kills his mouth. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, I know what you're trying to say. Crane kills the mother. Crane doesn't kill his mother. It's not his mother. <laughs> In the fall into maybe then dying like bad blood begins. Where the last people of faith fought for a way out of Haram. Ah. Well, you messed up while typing, but don't worry, I got what you're trying to say. Your thing does make sense. It's just you messed up two things. And that's a big deal. You just messed up two important things there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for sharing that with us. Next story comes from Oni Zombies, who says, When Tolga and Fatin escaped, they are the key spreaders to bringing it all over the country. Just a fun one, I like LOL. <laughs> yes, actually, that is a theory as well, where these guys actually spread the infection. And there's a lot of ways they can do that. I'll talk about that later in the video. But let's see, there's someone who actually commented uh, reply to this theory, so I'm gonna read his comment. Phoenix Fox 777 says, the issue is at the end of the following, they call Crane and tell them they see a stadium, so they're still in the normal map where you see the Bozak hood. What do you think? Well, Phoenix, you're right. They did mention a big arena. I actually talked about this in an old video of mine. And now since we have got Dying Light to gameplay, I even saw an arena there in the gameplay. You will see an arena in the background. I did mention that. So maybe, Maybe there is a possibility that they discovered this arena that we have in the city in Dying Light 2. So maybe they are the reason why the virus went outside the Haram. Moving to the next theory that comes from Max Hardison. Here's what I think happened. Going off the infected, crane ending, crane escapes, starts infecting the world. No biggie, the doc was working on the cure, right? Well, if that was going so hard, why did crane leave the city in hopes of finding some mythical cure in the first place? Well, yeah, good question. More than likely, work on the cure is stalled or else the virus has begun to mutate. There was only one doctor working on a highly complex cure, so I wouldn't be surprised if the, he couldn't finish before the virus mutated. So quite possibly the scientific world is still working on a cure, but can only come up with the ways to delay the infection. Or perhaps the cure research was a success, but the folks in Haran are so isolated from the world, it made no difference. Max, I'm going to be honest with you. Your theory actually makes a lot of sense. And I feel like this is possibly what happened, uh, including some of the other events too. So maybe the virus actually mutated and Camden couldn't really find a cure for that. And Kyle Crane saw that there is actually limited time because people were dying and stuff. They had limited time. So he had to find some other way while Camden actually finds a cure. So he went for a mythical cure that, you know, is the following thingy. So yeah, you make a lot of sense. So thank you, Max, for sharing that with us. Anyways, going to the next theory that comes from Mr. Chief, who says a troll found a unicorn and troll found a unicorn and the creature pooped. Pooped. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, a troll found a unicorn and the creature pooped out different viruses? What the fuck? Leprechaun? Then spit out molten gold and mixed them all together. Thus the Haran outbreak, Dr. Ziri then captured a goblin. 
and his angel mother mixed a urine track and gained the ability to fly. Zeri went so high he messed up. The atmospheric pressure causes Carl's parachute to open lower than normal. The first zombie to ever walk the earth witnessed his mother and father get crushed as crane majestic thighs crushed them. <laughs> that angered the zombie, so he did what any infected human would do. Have a nice and calm conversation regarding the legal fees pursuing the court case against Carl Crane. After he lost the case, he attacked Crane under a rainbow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this began the start of the game. I'm, I'm high on something right now. Stay with me. Crane is then taken to an <laughs> underground. <laughs> Crane is then taken to an underground operation by the Soviets. <laughs> but he's captured again by aliens. Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy, right? Well, this is all a bad dream as he wakes up to kids touching and playing with his crusty toes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> then the whole story plays out, you know, Kyle pushing Raheem off the roof. Uh, did he? <laughs> then proceeding to drug the rest of the tower, putting them into a train. Kyle then goes and sucks on each and every one of their ears. Oh! Fast forward a few millennia, Kyle. Kyle now gave up the secret Roblox codes to rise. Roblox codes to rise. <laughs> and is now sentenced to 30 seconds in jail. Boom. That has no correlation to your question. And I wish you a good day. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> that was actually a good one. You actually made my day. Um, thank you. <laughs> actually, that, that had nothing to do with my question. But that was so funny. <laughs> so after reading um, this and all the other 150 plus theories, I finally know the common theory and it's similar to my theory. So let me share that with you guys. But first, watch this clip and hear all the dialogues. He talked about a group of people who don't get infected, even if they're bitten. The delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa, th th this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we are running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. You heard what happened. They're running out of Antizin, so GRE is no longer sending drops here in Haran, which still doesn't explain why GRA dropped Antizen in the following and even in the Dying Light 2, they are actually still dropping airdrops. So why not in Haran? Talking about what happened to the cure, well, it's just one guy who's working on a cure and thousands of things can go wrong with that. Well, he can be kidnapped, killed, or maybe GRA took him with all the Zeris research. And that's why we don't have a cure. There can be another situation where the virus mutated and Dr. Camden had no way to stop that from happening. Now going to the following ending, if Crane sides with the mother and blows up the countryside, then the impact would even consume Haran. So maybe that explosion killed everyone, including Camden, who was alone working on a cure. See, possibilities are limitless. Now, if you're wondering how did the virus spread this far and how did it survive? Well, that's because volatiles had their nest deep inside some tunnels, even inside some underground caves. So obviously they survived the explosion. And because of the uh, explosion, there was radiation and the zombies mutated and adapted to this new situation. So that could be the reason why mutation happened. The explosion also took down all the walls that was keeping the virus from spreading outside the Haran. In Dying Light 2, the virus has gone airborne, so water and air both are affected with this. So in Dying Light 2, if you breathe the air for too long, you will turn into a zombie. And that's why we see our main character using a mask. And also, in all these possibilities, it simply points to the fact that the virus actually mutated. Now going to Tolga and Fatin, the two crazy scientist brothers who build themselves a rocket train to break the wall and go to the other side. Well, since they succeeded, and at the end of the game, they actually call Kyle Crane and tell him that they found a big arena. Yes, just like everyone thought, that big arena was the Bozak Hood from the Old Town. But what if it's not that arena? In the recent Dying Light 2 gameplay, we saw this arena in the background. That resembles Bozak Hood. So can this be the same arena where Tolga and Fatin went and it's possible that they brought the infection with them? There could be an infected hiding somewhere in the train. The train was huge. So that is possible. 
or maybe that infected zombie infected either either one of the brothers or someone in the city and that's how the infection started spreading now the most common theory the second ending of the following where kyle crane fights the mother and she forces him to drink the vial Later, Kyle Crane turns into a sentinel volatile like the mother who have control over them during the day. But as soon as the night comes, they can no longer control themselves and they kill anything in their way. Maybe Crane became a sentinel volatile and later mutated into a hunter, a night hunter, and started killing and infecting people during the night until one day he's hunted down but the damage has already been done and the virus has spread worldwide. So that's basically my theory. That's how the virus spread and that's how we don't have a cure and basically I feel like that's what happened to the cure. So that's my theory and I see a lot of you guys had similar theories like mine. So it looks like most of us are on the same page. Now if you don't agree with my theory or any of the theory I mentioned in the video, then correct us in the comment section or you can go to my channel and the community section where I posted my original question. Go there and share your theories because I'll reply to all of them. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Good night and good luck.